Sunday. It is September the 8th. It is 2.57 and we just got back from New Jersey. I did not vlog my weekend. I put it on Instagram, but I didn't really vlog it. I'll insert some pictures if I remember, but if not, I think I posted one on my Instagram and some of my stories, some of my live. But the party was nice. Our friend had a really good time um, and I'm happy to be back home. Um, I had uh, some um, guys pick up the D Gallery dresser that I purchased for two hundred dollars. So it's supposed to be in my garage. I need to go home and make sure it's there. Today I also purchased. Well, I haven't purchased it yet, but hopefully on Tuesday I'm going to purchase um, my blue sofa for my living room. And then the only other thing I need to get is my coffee table, which I found, but it was in New Jersey. We didn't have a vehicle big enough, so I didn't even offer to, you know, try to put in an offer and get that one. But I really, really want it. So, but that's a long drive. I don't think I'll be driving three or four hours to get it. So, I don't know. Um, but the sofa is usually six hundred dollars at Value City Furniture plus another one fifty for delivery. And the seller agreed to accept four hundred dollars, and it's in Silver Spring, so it's not far from me. Um, but my help is not available until Tuesday, so we'll see about that. I am headed right now to Ross, and then I may go to a Home Goods in Virginia because I am looking for window treatments and some other things to finish up um, this home project that I'm working on for a client that I'm almost finished with. She's on her way. She'll be back from Germany on the 15th, I think, of this month. And so we want to try to just finish everything within a week or so after she returns. But the first thing on the list is I have to find window treatments. I'm just going in Ross just to see what they have because I haven't been in this Ross in a really long time. I'm not expecting to find window treatments in here. Um, but we'll see. I went to the Virginia location, Home Goods, and they didn't hardly have anything uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm hoping that they've restocked. But we'll see. Um, I also want to get like a few like pumpkins so I may get some from here just to kind of stage some things with as well for the fall for the project I mean for the yeah for the reveal project as well um, and then she can switch up that decor based on the season um, so that is my plan Ooh. so yeah um, what are you guys up to? Um, this weekend has been so busy. Oh my goodness. It's like a lot of... Um, I'm in the parking lot that I got in my first car accident in. I drove to school in high school and I came to the shopping center to have... Um, I guess it was an early dinner with my friends. And I backed up and backed into someone. But they were on the wrong side of the road. I mean, on, of the odd lane. My parents were pissed. But anyway, I'm about to head into this Ross. And um, I will talk to you guys later. See ya. Alright, y'all. So I just left the Ross, as you can see in the back. Um, behind me. I um, got two. I got those wall prints. I mean, the wall flower, metal wall flowers. And then I got like a basket. A, wee, a woven basket. Um, you guys can kind of see it. You see that basket back there? To put some extra blankets in at the bottom of her fireplace. I ended up putting back the um, pumpkins because I was only going to use that for seasonal decor and she opted not to do it. And she was like, she's not going to keep up with it every season. So I put those back. Um, and so that's all I got out of Ross. Now I'm going to head home. I'm going to check on my, my, um, the gallery dresser that my cousin and friend um, picked up for me this morning because I was out of town make sure everything's okay with that and then um, I am going to head out for probably an early dinner and watch the games well I don't really watch the games but you know I was invited to have some food and libations while the game was on so yeah um, I'm gonna do that but I did want to stop at Home Goods before it closes today because I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to go. So I don't know how I'm going to work that into it. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Guys, I'm really thirsty. I left my water in Kyron's car. I got a box full of swimsuits back there. I need to return some shoes. I have so much to do. It's ridiculous. Like, so much to do. But, um... 
yeah that's what I'm going to do I'm happy I found those wall things though because I didn't know what I was gonna put on the wall beside the fireplace it's like a big empty space and she wanted it filled so I'm gonna put those up and they're a nice size and I found silver and gold and I mixed metals in her house so it's gonna look nice I need to find my nail kit um, so I can hang some stuff up I didn't see any silverware that I really liked or flatware that I really liked so maybe home goods will have some I need to get some taper candles some white or cream ones and um, I also need to get some what do you call it regular candles too to go on a lot of candlesticks I also need to like I said find my nail kit because I can't hang my wall sconces the wall sconces or probably those flowers that I showed you guys in I'll show them to you once I park but I put them on my IG today um, I can't hang those without nails and then there was something else I needed to find the curtains obviously I got the curtain rods I just need curtains so anyway I'm headed to my house I will let you guys see the dresser they took the seller told me that he did unscrew the feet of the dresser so when you see it it's probably not going to be on the feet um, but I told them to just leave it in my garage because y'all yeah, know how particular I am and my staircases are very narrow and it just gave me anxiety the thought of two guys going through my house without me being there moving a big heavy dresser up two flights of stairs and two narrow stairwells my walls you know when they brought the what did they bring upstairs my the grill my um walls got dinged up and I had taken some stuff off the wall so that that stuff wouldn't break like my porcelain flowers and stuff and I hadn't had a chance to do that this time because I was out of town so I was just like just leave it in the garage and we'll figure it out another day so I just park outside it's fine um but I just want to lay eyes on her and I need to switch out my bags put my swimsuit box in the house I need to grab my sneakers because I do need to return those like it's been forever so I need to do that. Um, there's a UPS over by where I'm going. So I'm going to try to handle that. And then, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys are having a fun um, Sunday. I was going to go visit my niece. But my mom said she went to go look, for, look at a house with her parents. And my nephew's there, but he's so small he's sleeping. So I just opted to not go and do some uh, shopping for a client. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's about it. I don't want anything, y'all. I need a feel so bad. Ooh, I need a feel. My hair got a little sweated out, so I'm gonna have to flat iron it in the middle tonight. Because you know how like when you're dancing and it's really, really hot and you have your hair blown out, your natural hair, it like poofs up. It did that, but it didn't do it at the root, thank God. And it didn't do it at the ends, but it did it in the middle of my hair for some reason. So I have my flat iron in the bag. I'm just gonna hit it um, tonight before I go to sleep. So it'll look decent for work tomorrow. And um, everything else went off without a hitch. Like it was good, had a good party got up there in good time came back in good time we got back around like three o'clock well it was like 245 but um which was good it's 354 now so yeah are you guys watching the redskin game obviously i'm not y'all let me tell you about how yesterday i like barely made it on time as far as getting ready for the party because legit it took me 30 minutes to get my contacts in my eyes like i suck at it and and it may be my nails it may not be but i just think my eyes are not used to something going in them it legit took me 30 minutes usually i have my friend come over from next door and put them in for me but i was out of town so i had to figure it out myself it took me 30 minutes and three contacts why three you ask because the other one just kept dropping and I was scared to put it in my eyes after about the 15th or 16th try then it fell on a towel and I didn't really have cleaner solution to clean it off and I didn't want like the cotton particles from the towel to be in my eye it was a mess and then getting them out of my eye I mean that didn't take as long but it 
still took about 10 minutes um, and they just ended up falling on my eyes like contacts are just not for me but I do wear them when I don't want glasses on so I'm happy that I wrangle with them for 30 minutes to get them on because looking back at my pictures I just like the way that it looks without having my glasses on sometimes I wear my glasses sometimes I don't but I just like you know for dressier events this was a dress to impress event so I didn't want to um, wear my glasses so 30 minutes oh my goodness and then um, I also it's time for me to get my eyebrows done because it was really hard to shape them and fill them in yesterday but for the first time I used my YSL um, I think it's 24 hour foundation or something it was really good it was a really good match I love it I think it was like $54 or $46 or something at Sephora so I used that I like it and it was a good match and then I also used the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow dip pomade um, to do my brows I really like it but you just need a little teeny bit like just a little bit um, and uh, yeah it'll do the trick but I need to have mine shaped anyway so yeah that's that but it looked you know like it, the, the, that product is gonna last forever um, if you screw the top on tight and don't let it dry out but anyway um, so yeah it was fun we had fun that was one weekend down in the book so the next weekend this weekend coming I think I have a consultation which is the 14th yes I have a consultation um, for like a kitchen slash dining room wall area I have a consultation for that and then um, what else do I have to do I think that's it for this weekend coming I don't know what I have the next weekend either I don't know I was looking at like some winery tours for uh, my friends to do that include the uh, transportation for the fall time and honestly September is the best time but we're gearing up because October is crazy for us we have so many birthdays my mom Stacy's both Brittany's kids um, kids in my family and then we have homecoming it's just like crazy um, so October is usually not a good month for us to try to plan anything outside of that and all of my weekends are pretty much jam-packed in October so and then the first week in November I'll be um, in Cabo for my Cabo for my birthday so I was gonna try to look into doing it sometime in September but I'm not sure because that's sneaking up on us and you know we gotta give people time to have put their funds aside and stuff like that so I don't know we wanted to do it before the winter and I don't really know so we'll see um, but yeah, maybe second week in November. I don't know. Um, I will look into that tomorrow more while I'm at work. Um, but yeah, that is what's going on today. I owe you guys a vlog. So I'm going to post that. Um, I see all of your comments and your questions about doing uh, room makeovers and room tours and stuff. You guys, you guys see I'm posting on Instagram. I'm getting the deals. I'm trying to finish these rooms for you guys. I'm also working on other people's houses. I am definitely trying to finish these projects so I can show them to you guys just like I did my Diva Den um, deck space. I'm, I'm trying, but you know, it costs money. It just bear with me. It's coming. The only reason I have not done the laundry room closet reveal tour or makeover or whatever I don't have the after but I can show you the tour of it uh, I mean I don't have the before but I can show you the tour of it now it's because I'm trying to find one sign to go in an empty space on the wall um, and I know I can find it at like Burlington actually somebody posted I don't know where they were home goods or some I don't know where they were but they posted some nice laundry signs from home goods so I may look there today if I can find that that's the only reason I haven't posted that the reason I haven't posted the entryway is because um my M from my home sign fell down and shattered months ago I bought a replacement but I have not spray painted it white and put it back on the wall yet so right now it just says H it has a flower for the O there's an empty space and then there's an E so I'm I, I need to do that which I know I need to do it I need to spray paint it let it dry and put it back on the wall so I can film that for you guys because I have um, put some seasonal decor out already um, the pumpkins and some acorns and stuff like that but I did post a picture or like a sneak peek of um, my entryway as well on my IG um, and then what else can I show you guys I can show you the dining room 
but I need to get some candles for I switched out my dining table centerpieces and I need some candles for them so when I go to home goods I'm supposed to get some candles so that's that's that on that basically um, but anyway I am pulling up at the house and I will show you guys the dresser remember it probably doesn't have the legs on it I don't think they put the legs back on it I hope they didn't but we'll see because they still need to move it all the way upstairs and then I will show you guys these big um, metal uh, wall art flowers that I got um, from Ross as well like I told you, the feet are off of it. Um, and there's a center support there. But this is the dresser. These drawers are not pushed in all the way. It looks like it was cracked right here. I don't know what happened there, but um, that's just particle board, I guess. So I guess once you open it, it'll be okay. I don't know. That could have they could have done that when they moved it, but I just need to wipe it down. I see it's got marks and stuff on it but it looks good and i'm excited to have it these are the wallflowers they're really big this is the gold one they were 19.99 and this is the silver one and that's the basket over there so now i'm about to go pack up my stuff Ugh. hey y'all so i was able to find my client some curtains i think they're gonna work and i brought her four sets because she has three windows in the space and then um, there's a window in the kitchen, which is right next door. And I think that's the next um, project that she's going to remodel after she finishes the one that we're working on now. So I always um, advise people to get window treatments that are going to coordinate really well. So I got her those and then I got her uh, vase for the bottom of her fireplace. I got to get some um, stems to put in it. I think I'm gonna have to get those from Michael's going to home goods looking for them they're not out and then I got her a throw to put in the basket that I got from Ross earlier today so yeah that is that on that I think I'm gonna go drop everything off and set stuff up um, on Tuesday and I think I'm gonna try to go tomorrow to get my couch the lady just sent me a message back and I didn't read it because I was talking to you guys so let me see what she said hold on so the lady said that tomorrow at 8 probably isn't going to work for her because her daughter has practice and she, the couch is at her salon in Silver Spring. But she lives in Hagerstown and that's where her daughter's practice is. So once she leaves Silver Spring, drives all the way to Hagerstown, which is kind of far. Well, it is far. She's not going to turn back around and come back to Silver Spring. So I had proposed 8 p.m. tomorrow and she said that may not work, but hold on. Let her try to see if someone can be at the shop at 8 o'clock for her. So I'll wait for her to get back to me. Tuesday, she said, probably isn't going to work either because she said her daughter has practice again on Tuesday. And then my help can't help me Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So yeah, kind of a little frustrated, but we'll see what happens. It'll all work out if it's meant to be. So yeah, but that was it. Um, I have a tape measure i have a hammer up here i have a picture hanging kit with some nails in it and then i have some other nails as well um so that i can start installing some of the stuff for my client um yeah i'm on the hunt for a really nice clock and i haven't found one i think i want to put a clock over the mantle but i'm not sure if i want to i don't know Cause she wants the um, home in letters, but she, instead of making the O a reef, she wants it a clock. So I don't know that I should put two clocks in the space. At first I was going to do a mirror, but I feel like once I put a mirror over the bench area, and I, I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about because you haven't seen this space yet, but I'm just trying to talk through this with you guys. Once I put a mirror over there, and then we have a mirrored buffet as well, and then we're going to do a mirrored mirror frame gallery wall in the dining space i feel like that's enough mirror you know um because i don't want the space to be too cold so that's why i nixed the mirror idea over the fireplace mantle and then maybe a medallion but i don't want it i don't know the other option was a clock but then if she's going to have a, a, a different clock on the other side of the room i don't know that i would put two clocks so still deciding but yeah 
that's it. I'm sorry, it's kind of dark in here, guys. I did pretty good today. It stinks over here. Who that smell? I did pretty good with keto today. I haven't weighed myself all weekend because I did not have a. Well, I weighed myself Saturday morning, but they didn't have a scale at the hotel. But anyway, I um I didn't do too horrible. Um, we stopped at a rest stop on the way down there. We went and I went to Burger King. I got a bacon whopper with cheese with no onions, and I took it off the bun. And then I had a cup of fresh strawberries instead of French fries. So that was perfect. And I had a diet coke or water, but diet coke. I think I had diet coke. Um. When we got to the party, she had food there. I had two jumbo meatballs, and they didn't have barbecue sauce on them. I don't know if they were garlic or some type of sauce was on them, but it wasn't barbecue. So I had two of those, and then I had one piece of fried chicken wing, which I probably wasn't supposed to have, but it is what it is. They didn't have any baked chicken. And then as the alcohol started to kick in, I had, Renee gave me her Hawaiian roll. So... I wasn't supposed to have that. And then I had a little teeny pig in a blanket. I wasn't supposed to have that either. So, yeah. Um, but that's all I ate yesterday. Of course, the alcohol. But I had, like, the white sangria. And I had that today as well. But anyway, and then today on the way back, we stopped at McDonald's for breakfast. And I got a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel meal. And I ate the bagel. And I ate the hash brown. And I got it with a Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. That was me. I wasn't supposed to have that. But I did have grilled wings for dinner. And another white sangria. So we'll see what I'm weighing tomorrow. I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I knew I was going out of town this weekend. But your girl needs to do better. I got some these shoes in the back I need to take back. I got so much to do. I'm so tired. My car is a mess again. I'm gonna try to upload a video tonight. We'll see. I'm tired though. It's 8.03. So yeah. Um, but that's all I wanted. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.